Well, how about this story? A local middle schooler science project was so alarming to one Manchester man <laughs> that he called the police to come check it out after it landed in his driveway. This past weekend, 8th grader Jack Miron used a weather balloon to launch a camera and a weather recording device all the way up into space. Pretty impressive. WNDR's Mike Garrity has more on the story. This is the balloon. Um, when it was filled, it was 10 feet in diameter. This weekend, Jack Miron, an 8th grader at the Pine Hill Waldorf School in Wilton, launched this homemade space probe up more than 20 miles above Earth. Well, I didn't know how high it was going to go, but I didn't think it was going to go all the way to the edge of the atmosphere. I mean, that's just amazing. At 110,000 feet, the large balloon carrying the probe exploded, and an attached parachute did its job. A waterproof camera captured the journey. You could see the curvature, the curvature of the Earth. An onboard portable weather station device tracked conditions. Jack and his parents launched the probe from Bedford, and it ended up 10 miles away in Manchester. It was laying right in here. The camera was still going when Sean Tolan discovered the probe Sunday afternoon. He didn't know what it was. And I walk out here, and I'm like, what is this? There's a parachute with like a weather balloon type thing with like these flags on it and stuff and everything and there was a box. It had a NASA sticker on it and an attached beeper making a loud sound so it would be found. I did, I called the police. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Eventually Jack's contact info was discovered inside. It could have landed in a tree. There's so many trees around New Hampshire here. It could have easily landed in a tree or on someone's roof and we could never have found it or it could have been uh, damaged. It's all for Jack's science project for his school's upcoming science fair around Thanksgiving. In Wilton, Mike Garrity, WMUR News 9. Wow, right? Yeah. Wow. If you'd like to see a slideshow of all the pictures that Jack's science project captured before, during, and after its flight, just check WMUR.com.